This type of one I want to show you is both an advanced tip and a trick for history teachers. Let's take a look. What we're going to use this time is the time lapse button right here. It says show historical imagery. Use the time slider to move between acquisition dates. So I'm going to zoom in to our nation's capital. And here we can see the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, World War II Memorial, the Vietnam Wall is right here, the Korean Memorial, the MLK Memorial, all here at our National Mall. And if you take a look, right down here, it says imagery date, June 11th of 2020. That's when this satellite imagery was taken and that we can see in Google Earth. But if I want to see historical imagery of this area, I'm going to use this button. And that populated this time slider right here. And I can hit the back button to go back between imagery dates. You can see the imagery slightly changed color. Now I'm looking at June 2020, but if I go back, I am now looking at October 2019. You can kind of see every, all the foliage is a little browner than in the summer. And this area actually goes back all the way to 1949. Now some of you might be thinking, well, there wasn't even satellite imagery at the time. That's true. Satellite imagery didn't start till about 1959. So this picture was probably taken overhead with an airplane. But look, there's no Vietnam Wall. There's no Korean Memorial because neither war had even happened yet. But if I hit the forward button, I can start moving forward in time. This is now 1988. 1999. You can see there's no MLK Memorial, but if I start to move forward, 2000, 2001, this is September of 2001, so right around 9-11. And if I keep going forward, let's go to 2003. 2007, still no MLK Memorial. 2010, now take a look right here. That looks like construction. So they began construction on the MLK Memorial around 2010. And if I start moving forward, you'll see the imagery progress. Looks like they're still working on the construction. Keep moving forward. And now it looks like it's done. And you can see more current imagery as you move forward. Some other reasons why you might want to use this time slider bar. Say you're looking at a piece of imagery in Google Earth, but for some reason there's a cloud right in the middle of, of what you want to see. Or it was the summertime and there's a lot of foliage on the trees and that's kind of obscuring your view. You can start this time lapse viewer move backwards and see a piece of imagery where the cloud's no longer there or it's during the fall or winter months and the green foliage and leaves aren't in your way. So there you have it. There's a time-lapse viewer where you can see historical imagery. Thanks for watching and map your world.